You know, this is an exciting show. They always are when we do makeover madnesses because we do three makeovers in under an hour. Will our hair and beauty team do all the work? I'll just sit back and watch. So I'm going to introduce you to our first makeover. Meet Corey. She is the first woman to coach a men's hockey team in the history of the university circuit. Off the ice, she'd like some help sprucing up her look. Here's her story. I've always been very sporty, so hair and makeup is something that I haven't always focused on, but it's been something that I've really been enjoying in the past couple of years. I'm the assistant coach of the men's hockey team here at Ryerson. Yeah, Corey's been a, she's been a great asset for our team. Uh, she's really come in and brought uh, some character traits that you don't necessarily see um, on a coaching staff, and uh, yeah, we're real thankful and lucky to have her. It's been a great year. Our team was very successful. The guys, are, the guys are amazing. I've only really played um, female hockey. Coaching men is a lot different than coaching females, um, but they're great. Uh, they, they love the game, the very competitive coaching staff that we have. Uh, we have a great group of guys, and you know we're just trying to be here for them, to make them better, to move them on to be more successful. Uh, in their everyday lives after university. So that's the goal of, of our job is to uh, prepare them for a world after hockey or to prepare them for their next step in hockey. So I'm really looking forward to the makeover. Um, I would really like a new spruced up look for the new season ahead. Um, I'm really interested in makeup and hair and, and clothing. So I'm really looking forward to that and it's gonna be a great change for me. Good job for you. I want to know what is it like working with all of these men? Do they listen to you? No problem. Yeah, they're pretty good listeners. Um, you know, being involved with female athletes my whole life, uh, changing over to the male circuit is a little bit different, a little bit challenging day to day, but it's been a good transition. You command attention, though. I can tell it just in your demeanor. I mean, we were speaking before the show about everything under the sun. So, very good personality and a great team. Bahar Niramwala is here to do your makeup. <laughs> here from Salvatore Leonetti Salon. So let's talk about uh, your plans for Corey. Absolutely. We discussed uh, ahead of time with Corey. She is um, very beautiful, obviously, right? Yeah. Beautiful head of hair, really lovely skin, really lovely bone structure. And at the end of the day, she said she wants to look feminine because the majority of her time being in sports as well is spent kind of, you know, maybe hair back or screaming at the guys to yeah. go, go, go. So we're going to give her that and we're going to give it to her, not in an excessive glam way. We're just going to do polished, pretty. I'm going to do, I think, a little bit of a golden glow to her face. We're going to keep things relatively minimal as well because she says she doesn't wear that much makeup. She right. just does a few things which I absolutely adore because she doesn't wear much makeup because she has great skin and she takes care of it. Lovely. So yeah. she yes. looks good natural. A absolutely. That's but did you see her laser at. stare in that tape? <laughs> like if you can give her like the gorgeous eyes and she's given the lasers. It's done. Like, oh my gosh. It's over. Yeah no they'll just be like we bow down. <laughs> <laughs> we bow down. Okay let's talk about um, her hair. Stunning hair. Absolutely mm -hmm. stunning hair. I, I, it's imperative that it's long enough to go back in a ponytail yeah. under a helmet get rid of it. But you said when you're on the bench you actually like to wear your hair down. Yeah, I love so that. we want to wear it. We want to cut it in such a way that it it does bring out the prettiness, but it's it's also got to be something that's kind of easy and Functional. breezy and not so contrived, not so overdone. Yeah. Because like I think with the makeup, anything overdone and contrived is going to take away from what's so naturally beautifully beautiful about Corey. Right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, it's going to be a good one. I think so. I'm excited for you. It is the moment we all look forward to. It's the big reveal. So you're going to see three completely different women now, starting with Corey. She is the university hockey coach. Uh, you know, even though she's coaching men, she wants to look feminine when she's out there, but still have hair that's functional. So let's take a look at Corey's new look. Corey, come on out. <laughs> So we can see this beautiful look. Is this what you were aiming for? This is perfect. My team did a really great job. We worked together and it was great. You sound like such a coach. I know, <laughs> but I felt like it was a new team, something that I'm not really used to and they were great. You're so good. Like I would get very <laughs> pumped up if you were my coach. Bahar and Bill, come on in here. Give them some love, guys. Come on. What a great job. Thank this you. hair. Oh, this hair is just, it's, it's just a joy to deal with such beautiful hair yeah. on such a beautiful woman.
with a great voice. Amazing voice. Oh yeah, so it's, it's just a little bit of layering around the front for softness, um, but this will all go back and very importantly, back behind the ear, yeah. right, when you're on the ice, yeah. can go under a helmet, not too layered out, because the more you layer out here, the more you have to put those layers somewhere. Uh -huh. So I always think when you layer around the face, easy to deal with, not so much in the back, leave it a little bit blunter. Absolutely but, gorgeous. God, it was like, it was, it was a piece of cake, look piece at her. Piece of cake. Gorgeous. <laughs> she got shampoo, commercial hair. <laughs> That's right. true. She does. Bahar, uh, you did a beautiful, sort of Thank natural, you. pretty. Go team! Yeah! yeah. We totally, yeah. this was, again, like Phil said, very easy, like walk in the park type of a look for her. So, kept everything moisturized, hydrated, dewy and glowy, gave her, mm -hmm. like she said, she wanted to look feminine yes. without being too overdone. We've done some beautiful lashes on her, a really beautiful, just a nude lip with a hint of pink, yeah. and then concentrated just a little bit extra blush and luminizer just on the uh, front to kind of bring like focus right down the center of her face, which is always nice, right? Mm -hmm. All that elongation makes us look taller. I don't care if you're six foot 10, everyone still wants to look taller and longer. Yeah. So that's a little trick where you bring a little bit of that luminizer or focus down to the center of your face, it'll just kind of carry you through. Exactly. Very nice. I love it. You look fabulous. Thank and then you. let's talk about this look. So uh, this is sort of the sort of thing that you might wear on the ice, right? Yeah, this is pretty much the outfit that myself would wear and then the, the men are in suits as yeah. well. And it's easy. It looks good. And, and I'm this is exactly what I was looking for. Well, Eva did a good job then. Yeah. Eva, fantastic. Job. Where'd you get it all from? We went to Ann Taylor and I really focused on cut for court because she is on the bench. All eyes are going to be on her when she's coaching. So what, all we did was added um, some color to the suit to get for that feminine feel to it. And I think she looks amazing. She really does. It's good. So you, you're sort of similar to the guys out there, but very much the woman on the ice. So you yeah. look fabulous. Thank you.